Hello there, and welcome to Christmas Weekly History Topics for Week 25, um, for the week of July 21st to the 27th. Um, before I begin this week's topic, um, I would like to, to say that the reason why I haven't been doing so many topic videos lately is because I've been really busy. Um, so, it was all pain. So, um, that's mainly why. But, um, I'm back, at least for this week I'm back. And this is for week number number 25, even though it should really be in the 30s, it's week 25. Okay. Week 25 is for week July 21st to the 27th. This week we're doing Grover Cleveland's sex scandal. Now, for those of you who don't know a lot about American history, this might sound surprising for you. Um, Grover Cleveland did supposedly have a sex scandal when he was um, president, and there were claims that he had sex with women, and that these women had child, and these children were Clevelands, and they had his blood in them, basically. Um, what happened was that there were rumors going around, um, some, like, reporters of the day reported that supposedly Glover Cleveland had, um, affairs with, um, with a certain woman he picked up. Um, they, they said that he betrayed his wife and picked up, um, you know, um, women, basically. Um, I'm sorry for saying I'm a lot, but supposedly there was this one um, female, her name was Maria, I forget her last name exactly, but she supposedly had an affair with Cleveland and in the 18 in the late 1800s and they had um, she had an, she got pregnant basically and the supposed um, son of Cleveland was born September of 1874 um, Cleveland of course denied that um, the child was his um, this was before he was president, believe it or not, and it um, basically went on to haunt him in forever years. Um, this happened in the 1870s, but as you know, Grover Cleveland was on to um, run for president in 1884. Uh, however, the in 1884, when, when he was when he won the Democratic nomination for president, um, what happened was the Democrats wanted to rue his reputation. The Democrats knew Cleveland's reputation of being like a womanizer and stuff like that. So, what the Democrats wanted to do is. Um, for Cleveland to win the Democratic ticket in 1881, no, not 1881, but 1884, I should say, um, the Democrats tried to portray him as, quote, Grover the Good. Um, they tried to make him out to be a nice fellow, an average American man. Um, they denied any sex scandals from his past. They denied any um, illegitimate children, they denied that, you know, he had children out of wedlock, basically. Um, of course, the Republicans um, tried to play that card a little bit, saying, well, you can't trust Cleveland, you know, he's had so many children out of wedlock, and stuff like that. Um, but, in the end, Grover Cleveland, as you know, won the 
1884 race for the presidency. Um, although this did come back to haunt him when he ran again um, after 1884, he ran again in 1888. Um, there's one popular song in this era. Um, if you look up like a lot of CDs of music from the Gilded and Progressive Age, um, you'll find a song called Ma Ma Where's My Pa. Um, this was during, it was either during his election for president or, in, or during his re-election um, that the Republicans played the um, sex scandal card on Grover Cleveland to make him seem bad and to make him unelectable. And there was this one political song in the golden age called Ma, Ma, Where's My Pa? Uh, there we go, Ma, Ma, Where's My Pa? Gone to the White House, darling. You know, he's making the laws and stuff like that. Um, I forget the whole song, but I'm not going to sing it. So, anyway, um, in the end, though, Grover Cleveland wins re election, and um, what the Democrats would chant after the election, and they would take the Republican slogan and use it against them. So, what the Democrats would be saying is we start out with how the Republicans went, Ma, Ma, where's my pa? And then the other would go to, go to the White House, ha, 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 basically saying that even though with this supposed scandal, um, our candidate still won the election. Um, this, I know that this might have sounded a little weird. Um, this is one of the topics that I picked on like the spur of the moment because I haven't been on lately. Um, I only know a few things about this. I had to get the dates though because I didn't know which election was. Um, I didn't look at the election it was in, but, but it was in the 1884 election. Um, like I said before, I don't know much about this topic, but um, I heard about this recently and I thought, hey, you know what? Since I haven't done a topic video in a while, I'll do it on this. So that's it for this, this week, and I'll see you next week, hopefully, if I'm not busy.